Legacy Hunter. We are the backbone of America. We are not afraid of getting our hands a little dirty. We work hard with what we have. We are where scripture takes action. We are Average Joes. And your land and our land are the hunting grounds. The Hunting Grounds is brought to you by SJF Productions, Arkansas Customs, Eagle Seed. Golden's Gun Engraving, Shea Bug Design, Hook Line and Sinker Outdoors, Nose Jammer, Backcountry Taxidermy, Duke Traps, Popeyes of Northwest Arkansas. Well, welcome to episode five of season two. Our deer season's winding down for the most part. We filled a lot of tags, and now we're able to get out to some of those properties and actually trap them out. I don't like trapping early on in the season when it's actually in season, just because it adds too much pressure to the deer on those properties. But now that we've filled our tags and we're gonna stop hunting some of these properties, we're gonna get in there and trap them out. Now we've got a lot of coons on this property and you can see that in our trail cam photos. Sometimes we're having as many as 12 coons in one single frame. So what we're gonna do is we've got these dog proof Duke trap sets that we're gonna set out in here. And we're gonna see what we can get today. We're gonna do um, six of them with peanut butter and some marshmallows and we're going to do the other six with some cheap cat food and we're going to see which pulls the most coons in. So we're going to do this over a couple days. We're going to get out here. Dad's behind the camera. I'm going to set them all today, come back and check them in the morning and I'll reset them for one more day and I'll probably pull them out for a week and then come back in and trap it real hard again. Now hopefully we'll have a lot of luck with these Duke traps in the morning. We've had a lot of luck this season, caught a lot of cool stuff on video, but there's always those hunts that didn't go exactly as planned whether you got out of deer stand too early, had to do a spot and stock, or you know we sat hours and hours without much on film. And that's what we're going to bring to you guys while I'm getting this stuff set up. Up yeah, there. I, can, I can see him up there in honeysuckle just browsing on my camera. Did 
you get excited when you saw the deer? Yeah. So much that you had to pee? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hook this first duke trap here to this dogwood here. Um, one of our mineral sites and baiting sites that we have is right here beside us. And they've really dug it out. Um, this is one of the areas that we know the coons are accustomed to coming. And so what we're gonna do is try to catch them as they come on in here. I've actually got some uh, clam juice here. The lake's not but 100 yards, if that, from here. Uh, it's Beaver Lake. These coons are very accustomed to going down there at night looking on the shore, trying to find clams or any kind of fish to eat. And so what I would suggest is either use fish oil or clam oil. What we're gonna do is just kind of squirt this across the path. That way catch them coming in, bring them directly to the Duke trap and see if we can catch them here. Well, we've got six of our traps set already and the remainder of the traps just so it's easy for me to come in and know where they're at we're going to go right down this old logging road a lot of wildlife loves using old logging roads deer coons fox anything i know we've got a few foxes out here we're just going to go down this road and set the rest of these six traps and uh, should be some guaranteed catches in the morning
Anyway, I went out this morning, sat in the shooting house, and uh, didn't see nothing. So, by 8 o'clock, I thought I'd figure I'd stalk around, look around a little bit. Didn't see nothing, so I went to the house, just looked out the window, and he happened to be chasing some does out in our field, out in the woods. But then, uh, so I ran out, got over to the edge of the woods. He's still chasing does, so he come walking by, and I had a split second to shoot him, and I took him. Pretty big guy. I'm definitely proud of this guy. Not very big, but you can tell he's been rubbing. We're back to that piece of property. We were setting traps a few days ago. Yesterday we struck out. We didn't get anything. Uh, last night we had a little bit of a front move through. Pushed a little rain through. Nothing I was too worried about. But we're back out here to check the traps today. I'm actually going to pull them up today and then take them back home with me. A week from now I'll have another couple days off and I'll get back out here and trap it real hard again for two days. Just kind of hit them real hard, get out of here, and then hit them real hard again. Not to educate them. We're going to see if that method works. We'll see what we got in traps today. We got our first male here this morning. He's kind of chilling out here. Uh, he actually had a little bit of sweet tooth. He went to the trap that had the peanut butter and the marshmallow in it. And he's a pretty good sized coon, so we're gonna dispense of him and move on to the next trap. Well, we're at the last trap of the day. Another coon caught in the Duke dog proof traps here. He's a beautiful coon. He's got a really dark pelt. Another good sized coon on this piece of property. The coons just haven't been trapped here. They're right next to the lake. They've got everything they need to grow large and in charge in this piece of property. And he's owning that branch right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the hunts. Hope you guys enjoyed the trap segments. And until next time, go out everywhere, get a youth or new hunter involved in the outdoors. And as always, have a better than average day. Music for the hunting grounds is provided by Brian Matthew Ellis. See that on our trail cams. We do some supplementing. Well, I'm gonna tuck the peanut butter and jelly. Quit. We're down here. This is our last trap of the day. We've got an acrobat here. 